little tabs in here that go on either side of this slit. Today's wallet is our new ranking leader. It shows that Nate from Lost Dutchman Leather is continuing to fine tune his wallet offerings, listening to feedback while still innovating in a stitchless design this time. It's taken over the top spot as our highest scored wallet I've ever reviewed. And if you wait around, this stitchless wallet I'll take apart at the end so you can see how the unique design works. Stitch? Oh, Stitch! Stitch. Where are you? All of Nate's products come in a cotton bag. Let's pull this out, set that aside, and here we go. This is the Franklin. Very clean, it uh, looks very similar to the Loyal Strickland. Uh, there's, yeah, but it's otherwise, this is unique here in the back. Let's take a look more closely. This is a no stitch wallet. So there is no sewing in here. Almost kind of looks like an envelope here in the back. Open this up. Here's the stamp. We've got a card slot right here. And you see how that fits? Great. Let's get into it. Now, there's a couple of ranking criteria that offset each other in the scoring system I have to make it harder for a wallet to get close to a perfect score. Not on purpose, it just happens that way. And I'll explain that as we go along. Now, this is a vertical card holder, slim wallet and it has this flap right here for security, keeping cards in and cash. If we do turn it over, we see a little slit right here. That is a quick access card slot on the exterior, capacity of one to two cards. If we move to the interior, we can see we have one big pocket right here, one big slot. And this is available for cards, uh, the interior cash card slot. It can ha This overall wallet can handle up to 12 cards and you, it'll handle cash folded either once or you put it in and it wraps over. So it does function as a cash wrap. And that's a quick review of the features. It measures 3.6 by 2.9 by 0.5. And it weighs 33 grams or 1.2 ounces. Hang around for the unfolding at the end. I had six cards in there and five slips of cash. You can tell it was a cash wrap. I think that's amazing. It does not fit taller currencies uh, like the yen and the euro, the more higher denomination euros. And as you can see, we've got still quite a bit of room in here. And this is uh, really how it comes down to measurement done so well. Pull this out. This is designed and made in the United States, in Mesa, Arizona. It's made from a full grain veg tan Wicket and Craig glazed harness leather, which really measures out to be about 3.5 ounce leather weight, a really good weight. And the top edge here, all the way around, this is lightly burnished. Uh, the other ones really aren't, but you can get a monogram on this up to uh, six characters for free. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, that smells really, really good. Now, due to it not being sewn, it has all the same capacity as the big fin, which I show here, and it, but it isn't as wide. You can just see it's just a little, little different here. Let me put it from this angle, you can kind of get a feel. It's just a little narrower and that's okay. It's the sewing on the big fin that really provides that or, or you know, really forces that. Now, the, the difference uh, with the big fin is, of course, you have more separation here. Uh, you have a couple dividers in here and whatnot. But other than that, it is essentially close enough to the same size because this is a cash wrap. This is a great cash wrap. And so, with a price on the Franklin being $45, you essentially get the big fin for $30 less. As mentioned, the fold. Uh, provides security here as well as this fold on the back. I think provides uh, great security, helps lock everything into place. Notice the maker stamp. Would well, you see it here anywhere on the outside? No, you don't. It's right here. I think that just uh, provides a, a demonstration of what makes us look elegant and what makes us look nice. And of course, this will develop a awesome patina over time with use. Now let's unfold the wallet to see the elegant genius at work. Loads of fun. All right, let's take this apart. You can see we've got this piece. This is a little fold in here. Let's see how this comes together. Man, all right, if we look at the inside, yep, just like with a lot of the other types of no stitch, no fold, you can see we have the little tabs in here that go on either side of this slit. 
open, open, and there we go. Simple, but yet it's not. It takes some design. Very, very cool. Now on to the final score. For quality of five, this is consistent with all of Nate's work at Lost Dutchman. Excellent. Price of four, this is the ranking criteria that works against quality. When you have a high quality product, you generally pay more, which is why price isn't higher. And if price is good, it generally means quality is lower. But not in this case. And due to the ease of construction, meaning no sewing, Nate is able to offer this wallet at a lower price. Features a three, very good. Usability, a five. Nate found the sweet spot for usability by adapting over the big fin design and perception of five. Lost Dutchman continues to prove uh, through Nate that he's a true craftsman and takes care of his customers and that gives us a final score of 46 out of 50. Take a look at this next video right here to see why the Franklin is the next generation of the Big Fin and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.